Hey Ron, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a big old review video. I'm going to be following up with some first impressions, um, my Sephora summer sale haul I'm finally following up from, but anytime I do a first impression video or a haul video, I will always come back to review it, give my full thoughts on it. Some of these products I have reviewed along the way, like in my makeup monthly and things like that, but I do always like to come back to review those videos so you have all of my thoughts. Uh, some of these products, this is going to be the first time I'm talking about them, so I'll go ahead and cover those first, and then I'll try to get through the other products that I might have mentioned here and there as quickly as I can because we do have a lot of products to review today. I'll link the videos that I'm following up in my description box if you want to see my first impressions on them or my haul or things like that but we do have a lot to review so why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, the first item that I want to talk about is an eyeshadow palette. This is from Persona Cosmetics. This is the Identity 2 palette. So this is a $42 palette. It is also available at Ulta Beauty and inside you have the 12 different shades here and then also a mirror. I really do like a lot from a Persona Cosmetics. I've been very impressed with a lot from the brand and I was really excited when they sent this over uh, to me to try out. I do have it on my eyes today. I will also include any photos that I have of me wearing this palette. I do have to say that I think that this is a really nice eyeshadow palette. There's a black cat walking in the yard across the street. That can't be a good sign, right? Like I was saying, I have tried a lot from Persona Cosmetics. I do like a lot from them. I like a lot of the shadows in here. I think the quality of these are very nice. Kind of what stuck out to me the most about this eyeshadow palette is that I feel like with the shimmer shades, you don't need to use a damp brush. Uh, I am someone who I just kind of always tend to use a damp brush now to apply shimmers. It can help with fallout. Uh, if I've done my face makeup first, it can help shimmers just kind of have more of an impact when you apply them to the lids. But I always enjoy when I find eyeshadow palettes that really don't need that extra step, that extra step because I know not everybody wants to take that extra step and all of that. And this is a palette that you really don't need any outside help to get the shadows to perform, which I think is really fantastic. The color selection in here isn't totally me. There was a handful of times that I opened up this palette and I was like, what look can I come up with today? Um, we have this, this blue in Independent is actually very pretty. It's the first shadow that I tried from this palette and I really did think that it was beautiful. I really do enjoy the purples. Empowered and Confident are really beautiful. Empowered is what I have on my lids today along with Loyal and I mixed a little bit of Passionate and also Brave together. The Resilient shade is a really beautiful kind of like deeper bronzy. I love the lighter tones in here too. Um, there is a black which I don't reach for a ton but it can be nice even on just like the lower lash line things like that is very pretty. Um, and then the the green and the gold are pretty shadows as well. I don't wear those colors as much, but I, I just wanted to say that there was a few times that I opened this up and was kind of like just feeling a little bit stumped. But if you think that this is your color scheme, these are some shadows um, and some shades that you just, you just love to wear on your eyes. I think the quality is very nice. The mattes are more of like a buildup type of shadow versus being intensely like pigmented right away, which is more of my vibe. Uh, I like to be able to build up slowly because I'm not like the world's most masterist blender of the world. <laughs> It's been like a week since I filmed and I just finished filming actually a haul video and I could tell in there that I was like er, er, er. you do also have a nice mirror on it too which I do always appreciate in my palette so overall I do really like the palette I think the quality is there the color scheme isn't 100% me so it doesn't make it like an absolute favorite palette of mine but I think the um, shadows all perform really well. So if you think you would get a lot of use all of the sh out of the shades in there, I think this would be a nice one. $42 is expensive for a palette. So just wanted to point out like my full thoughts on it and why it's not an absolute favorite of mine. But still the quality is really good on this Persona palette. Uh, let's see another item this one I am wearing right now this is a Charlotte Tilbury lip product this is in pillow talk this is one of the superstar lips and I hmm, I bought this because I thought it was something different I think this is a problem that can happen when brands release a lot under the same like line or under the same name Charlotte Tilbury is very well known for pillow talk there's a pillow talk lipstick and lip liner there's eyeshadow quads and there are different formulas of Pillow Talk that can get a little bit confusing. I love my Pillow Talk and the Matte Revolution formula. Uh, I actually hauled another lipstick in that same line in my haul video that went live yesterday. 
The Superstar Lips I have tried before. It wasn't a favorite formula of mine, but I also didn't really love the shades that I had. Those were sent to me in PR from Charlotte, and I was trying them out. I'm like, you know, it might just be a shade thing. You know, maybe if another shade comes along that I'm really interested in, I would grab it. And there was one called like Pillow Talk Diamonds or something, and it looked like it had just a bunch of shimmer and like sparkly goodness packed into it. It's supposed to be like you had diamonds on your lips. And of course, I was totally sold on that. I I don't know what happened. I saw this come out on the Sephora website. I saw that it said it was new and I just, it was pillow talk and so I thought that's what it was and then I realized later that it's actually really like pillow talk diamonds is the name of it and this didn't have the name diamond in it. So I was a little flustered with myself because these are $34. That is expensive on a lip product and I, I was just a little bit upset that there was confusion there. So I mean it's my fault. Like it's 100% my fault, but it gets a little bit confusing. Other brands do this too where they have just, you know, the, the name of something and they use it across a bunch of different formulas, a bunch of different products. It can get a little bit confusing. So unfortunately, I didn't buy what I thought I was buying, which is a bummer. I do have this on my lips today along with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner, which is a favorite of mine. And again, I don't mind this. I like this shade a lot more than the other two that I did have that I believe I eventually decluttered. Um, I like this shade a lot more, but it's still just not a favorite formula of mine. Um, oh, I actually still have some swatches on my hand from the last haul video. I literally got done and then went to film again. I was like, gotta gotta get these in. The With the daylight savings, the sun is going down earlier and earlier these days. So how to get it in before the sun went down. But this is the swatch of Pillow Talk right here on my hand. And, and again, I, I like it. You know, you kind of you have more of that that uh, pinkiness to it. It's a little bit more of like a glossy formula, but it's not super glossy. It's just more like gloss than a cream lipstick, if you will. And I think the color is fine. Again, it's just not what I was expecting, and it's just an okay formula to me. I don't love it for the $34 though. So wish it would have been Pillow Talk Diamonds. I still haven't seen that one available on the Sephora website. I think it's only available on the Charlotte Tilbury website, but. You know, it is what it is, let me tell you. And then some other lip products that I was trying in those videos that I haven't chatted about yet are from Pure. These are their collaboration that they did with Barbie. So I tried the shade Classic in um, my first impression video. So really beautiful packaging. These are $18, also available at Ulta. Really beautiful sparkly packaging. They're a little bit thicker though, so they're kind of harder for me to store in my like traditional lipstick holders that I have. Um, you actually click the bottom of the button here and then it pops out like so and then you have the lipstick inside so again the shade i used in the video is in classic which looks like so it's a really beautiful shade these are more of a matte formula um on the actual lipstick like on the sides they are very glittery and shiny but the actual lipstick is not glittery you can see from the swatch there's really no shimmer to it something just went into my eye Ooh, ooh. Please hold. Okay, now my eye might be a little bit red and watery, but I felt some like I could feel something fall into my eye, and then it was like this vision went blurry. I was like, oh no, which must have been that black cat. Oh, I see. I see what just happened there. Offense to anyone who has a black cat. I know someone who has a black cat. I'm just saying. I think they're supposed to be bad luck. <laughs> but going back to the lipstick, um, so like I said, it is a matte finish. I like these because they're not like the absolute creamiest when I apply them, but for a matte finish bullet lipstick, they aren't like super tuggy or like they just don't like pull a lot on my lips. Like I think that it applies pretty smoothly, honestly. And I did like the matte finish to it. I thought that it was very pretty. I tend to like more of a matte finish. I still like my glasses and everything. I, I do enjoy my glasses, but I also like a matte finish, especially when it comes to a bullet lipstick. I think that I just prefer matte versus cream. So I really liked the way that this looked. They You do get transferred with them. Um, you know, they don't like dry down like a liquid lipstick type of thing, but they are pretty long wearing, which I was, I, I was impressed with that. So again, these are $18. I think that they're a really nice formula. A couple of products that I was trying out in the videos are hauling for the first time that I have mentioned in my favorites section of my makeup monthly. I thought I'd run through these quickly. This one here is uh, from Giorgio Armani. This is the Power Fabric Concealer. I have mine in the shade 3.5 and this became like 
uh, just a favorite of mine in a hurry <laughs> in a hurry i bought this on a recommendation from mel thompson and i do not have any regrets purchasing it i believe this was 34 dollars which is pretty expensive for a concealer but when i said in my makeup monthly that it is the most blendable concealer that i have i just think it's fantastic i can blend this out with my fingers that's how blendable it is i don't even need a brush um which i just think is fantastic but you still get a nice amount of coverage it's what i have on for my concealer today i think 3.5 is a great shade match for me uh it's so hydrating when i put it on it feels a little bit more thin and i wasn't sure if i would get good coverage with it but you really do it's like it's just like a power concealer i don't like this stuff is great it, it does have that expensive price tag when i repurchase it i would like to get it on sale and all of that good stuff but this is a really nice concealer um this has been being put into my travel bag over and over again this actually goes in like my airplane bag i usually wear like a mini backpack if i'm flying and i just have a few like essential makeup products in there and that's the concealer going in because like i said i don't even need a brush i can just blend it out with my fingers and it's so super smooth um I just think it's fantastic. Uh, like I mentioned, the lip liner that I have on from Charlotte Tilbury. This is an iconic nude. I have sharpened this pencil so many times. I can tell that it's getting smaller and smaller, and I just enjoy it so much. It's so long wearing. It's kind of that perfect, um, the like kind of like that perfect formula between being creamy but not too creamy that it kind of can go everywhere or not last as long, and still being. Um, the opposite of non-creamy that it still can last for a very long time doesn't really move on the lips like this is a very long wearing lip liner formula it is more expensive at 22 dollars uh, i have the shade iconic nude if i didn't say but even though it is more pricey i continue to wear it and wear it like i can I can definitely see myself using all of this up and feeling very proud of myself that I used up a lip liner, but it is one of my most used lip liners at the moment. I just think it's beautiful. I love the shade. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy with this purchase. I did buy this myself and I don't have any regrets about it. Okay. And then a blush that I have, this is from Ofra. This was in collaboration with Madison Miller. This is the Sweet Stuff blush. This blush, I didn't think that I would love as much as I did. Madison actually came out with a face palette with a blush and two highlights, and I thought that I would gravitate towards that more, but it's actually the, the single blush that I find myself just kind of constantly reaching for it and reaching for it. It's a really beautiful formula, one of those that is pigmented without being overly pigmented, but it's still... Like it still builds up enough quickly that I don't have to feel like I constantly have to keep applying it in order to have some payoff to my cheeks. It's a really beautiful shade also. And I just, I, I just kept reaching for this one. I like the formula. I like the shade. I think this blush was really well done. Uh, so that is the collaboration with Madison Miller and Ofra. I mentioned this one in my most recent uh, makeup monthly video as well. And I'm a fan of this one. So I believe this collection is still available on the Ofra website. Um, my discount code with Ofra is Samantha if you are planning to pick up anything, but really happy with this blush also. I did actually just uh, post a ranking new foundations video and these are in it. So if you want to hear my full thoughts and see how they rank against one another and a couple of other new foundation releases, I will also link that one. Uh, the foundation that I have on today though, this is from Shiseido. This is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I have the shade 240 Quartz. This is $47. I did purchase this myself, but I'm so, so happy with this foundation. It was one of my favorites from the new ones that I have been trying out. This is a very natural finish foundation. It leans just a little bit more on the matte side, but it's very, very natural looking on the skin. I love the shade match to me. It's one of the best shade matches, and it does say that it has like a technology inside that um, helps to match to the tone of your skin and I don't know if that's why I was able to get such a good shade match because looking at it I didn't think it would be perfect on me but really it's a really good one uh, it lasts for such a long time I I talk about it more in the ranking video that I really wasn't sure what it means to be a self-refreshing foundation, but it holds up so well all throughout the day. I'm really impressed at the at the wear uh, the uh, wear time of it, and again, I just love that that finish to it. It's more of a medium. Uh, medium buildable coverage foundation and I've been super impressed with this one. It does have SPF 30 I did want to mention that but I really do like it only only like real con is the um, Like you twist it and then you and then you pump some out and I always get foundation running all along here So I feel like I'm kind, kind of like constantly cleaning it, but 
other than that, I do think that it's really nice. And again, it is what I have on my skin today. And I'm also wearing that Madison blush that I was talking about too. The other foundation is from Kevin Aquan. This is the foundation balm. I have the shade uh, medium PB06 in this one. This is $52. It does also come with a brush, but I really wasn't a fan of the brush. I use a damp beauty blender to apply this. A little bit goes a very long way. You need like the smallest amount with this foundation. And I felt like using that brush and such, it's such a densely packed brush that I feel like you just get too much product on there and using too much makes this look super heavy. Um, definitely is just too full coverage when I use that brush. When I use the damp beauty blender, it just helps me pick up less product. It helps you know, I'm going to say sheer it out a little bit. It still is a full coverage foundation, uh, which sometimes I want, sometimes I need. I've been talking about my skin changing a little bit. I've been having some more breakouts and when I want a more full coverage, I know that I can use this one and it really does cover everything, but it looks so much nicer when I use a sponge. Again, very long wearing on this one. If you do like more of a full coverage mattifying finish foundation, I think that you would like this one. I don't necessarily prefer the balm style. I'm, I'm kind of more of a liquid foundation girl but once I figured out my sweet spot with um, you know using it with the sponge and using such a tiny product and really building up I actually was really enjoying this one so again I'll have that ranking video if you want to hear even more thoughts down below and see it in the ranking style but I really ended up enjoying both of these foundations the Kevin Aquan was sent to me uh, through Octoly and then the Shiseido I did purchase it myself uh, also another complexion product. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. So Fenty released a hydrating foundation and they also came out with this primer. I was sent both from Fenty Beauty. I do really like the foundation. I did a video recently at Get Ready With Me using some favorites found at Sephora since the sale was going on and I did use that Fenty foundation because I just think that it is really nice. I like the primer. I think that it's a good one. It's not anything that like totally knocked my socks off or I thought was super amazing, but I like it. I like it with the Fenty uh, foundation. Um, it's it's more of like a moisturizing primer to me. I didn't notice anything like like super hydrating effects to it, but I still thought it was a nice one. Product I actually had in last month's Shop My Stash Bag, so when I did my recap at the end of the month, I did do my review on it, but I wanted to put it in there because I knew I had to give my review in this follow-up video, and so I thought that I would get a lot of use out of it, that way putting it in my Shop My Stash Bag. Uh, so this is from By Terry. This is the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This is a $60 powder, so that is definitely very pricey. I mentioned in my recap that I really did like it. I think the, it makes the under eyes look super smooth. I have it on my under eyes and all over my skin today. It makes everything look very smooth. Um, it helps kind of like blur out things, which I, I definitely do appreciate. The price tag is really, really high though for me to recommend to someone who doesn't love high-end or luxury products. If you're more drugstore or affordable, I think there's also a lot of really good loose setting powders out there, but if you're more comfortable with that price point and you're on the hunt for really great products, I think that you would really enjoy this one from By Terry because I really do like it. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I, I don't think it looks too heavy on the skin, on my under eyes, on my whole face. I, I do appreciate it. I think that it makes my skin look very nice. It is just a very high price tag and I feel like I've tried other powders also that are pretty darn good too. So uh, that is the By Terry Hydra Hyaluronic Powder. No, the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. We just have a few products to finish up with. Uh, this is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. I Oh, I did review this recently in a makeup monthly also. I put it in the fine category. You have more of like a brush on one side versus a spoolie, and then you have a precise pencil on the other. I use this, the shade Warm. Nope. I use the shade Dark Ash Blonde. I was like, warm does not sound like something I would use. Um, I use Dark Ash Blonde. Again, I have it in my brows today. I think the pencil is fine. It's a little bit harder for me to work with. Um, it's almost just one of those that when I am like doing the brow strokes, I feel like I have to keep going over one area like over and over and over again. So I, I don't love that part. And I don't feel like anytime I've done my brows with this, I've been like, you're having a good brow day. Congratulations. I've just been like, ah, they look okay. Like this is this is passable for me. I don't know. I really thought that I would like it more, but I, I think that it's just okay. Again, I can still use this. It's not one of those brow pencils that I'm like, I just can't get it right, which 
that has happened to me so i'll keep using it until it's gone it's just not an absolute favorite i don't mind the brush also but i think i do like the spoolie a little bit more it just makes them look more like combed out and i can kind of use it to just make my brows look a little bit more natural with the spoolie i don't know it was okay just ended up not being an absolute favorite of mine okay and then i just have three more products left two of them are from lawless beauty i touched on these a little bit in my sephora uh, holiday bonus event recommendations and wish list. I was kind of going through everything in my loves list, talking about what I've purchased and if I would recommend them or not, um, some further recommendations and again, my wish list. So I touched on both of these because they had been on my loves list and I did purchase them. So they are both $38. So the bronzer, I got the lighter shade. It doesn't say it on this bronzer, which I don't know if I've noticed that before, but I think that that's kind of odd. Because uh, this one here, like on the back, it has all the information. So I don't know why it doesn't have it. Because again, I purchased both of these items. So um, I don't know about that. But you have the nice compact tier with the little mirror also. I do like this bronzer, but it's not a favorite. Again, I do have the bronzer on. I have a different highlight on today. But I have the bronzer on. I notice that sometimes when I use this, it can look a little bit unblended. I have to use a brush like the Benefit Hula brush. Um, I use a brush more like that instead of one that's a little bit more like dense like the Sigma F30 or like the Moda buffer brush that I like to use for bronzer. Uh, I use something more like the Benefit uh, Hula brush which is what I use today to apply it. Otherwise I feel like I notice that I can look a little bit unblended. My Urban Decay Beached Bronzer does that one to me too. It's a little bit more finicky. I have to use a particular brush with it but I do still like it. I, I like the shade on me. It didn't become an absolute favorite for that reason. Uh, it's not one of those like foolproof products that like no matter what I can just go ahead and use it. I just have to be a little bit more aware, but I do I do still enjoy it. Um, $38 is pricey though, so again, I would recommend getting it at a discount. But I really did like the highlighter. This is also $30, really similar, um, compact to the bronzer, and you have the mirror in here. I thought that this highlight was really beautiful. Uh, I've worn it for like uh, a highlighter on my cheeks. I've worn it for like inner corner brow bone highlight, and I've actually worn this as a shade all over my lids as an eyeshadow, and I think that it's very pretty. Um, compared to the Benefit Cookie highlight, which I'm going to review next, this one is more of like your subtle option. So if that's your preference, when it comes to highlights I think that you would like this one more I was a little bit worried if this one would be too dark on me because when I was first looking at it and seeing like the promo photos of it I was like that looks way too like dark or golden for my skin I don't know if you can see the swatch with my lights on here but I have it swatched over here I just was a little bit worried that it would be too dark on me but it's actually really not and this is the only highlight lawless has right now so when they released this i was a little like why are you only releasing one shade like how is that going to work for everyone but i've seen a lot of people wear this particular highlight and a lot of people it looks really good on myself included i didn't think that it was too dark so uh, I was pretty interested in that. Again, I like this one. I feel like it is more subtle, like I said. It's not super natural or anything like that, but for me, that I prefer more of like a beaming highlight, which this is the cookie highlight on my face, uh, it just is a little bit more toned down, if you will. But I still think that it looks really nice on the skin. It kind of just blends in a little bit easy. It doesn't look like it's highlighter just sitting on top of my skin and I just have like a stripe on there. So I ended up really liking this one even more than I liked the bronzer. And then the other highlight that I have is from Benefit. This is the Cookie Highlight. And again, this is what I have on my skin today. This one is $30. So again, I still think those are pretty high for highlights. $38, I definitely think is really pricey. $30, I still think is a higher price. But I ended up really liking uh, the Benefit Cookie Highlighter also. I bought this. Oh, it's so hard to swatch this with nails. I bought this because so many people were raving about it, but you could only get it at first a set. They had it in like the big palette and then they also had it in a smaller, um, like three, there was three products inside, but I just wanted just the highlight. And so finally it became available as the single. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So you can see it 
here on my hand so again definitely more of a blending highlight if you like more of that glow i think that you would like this one it is a little bit lighter so i don't think that this one will work on every skin tone either it pulls a little bit pinky also which i do enjoy i think that it's a really beautiful highlight um you like the top almost looks a little bit glittery and i know there was some talk of kind of uh scratching off that top layer it, again it's just going to kind of depend on your preferences i scratched off a little area to get an idea of it and I do like it that way too, but I'm not a huge fan of the like box packaging that Benefit does. It's just not a favorite of mine. And there is like a little mirror in here, but really it doesn't like it, but it doesn't do much. I still have the plastic over it because I don't really use that. So I don't know, not my absolute favorite packaging. I kind of wish that would change, but it's still very cute and everything. So if you like that, there you go. But I ended up really liking Cookie also. Uh, so I can see myself using that one quite a bit. So I'm happy with that purchase also. But other than that, that is going to wrap it up for this first impression of follow-up, uh, reviewing all of the products that I've been testing recently or that I hauled. I would love to know what you thought. I really enjoy making these review videos. I know that they can come a little bit later, but I just like to use everything really consistently and really have some good thoughts on them. If I'm using palettes, be able to include some photos and all of that. So I hope that you guys are still enjoying these review videos. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments. But other than on that if you guys did enjoy this one i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye